And so Hansen looked at three different scenarios, a scenario A that had very rapid increases in, in greenhouse gases um, and very rapid warming, uh, a scenario B, uh, which had much, much more modest increases, uh, and a scenario C, which had essentially uh, no increases in the future, um, and showed projections through uh, the next few decades for each of those different scenarios. And so of all the scenarios that Jim Hansen produced, his scenario B is closest to what's actually happened. Um, greenhouse gases have been on the high end, but emissions of chlorofluorocarbons have been much lower than Hansen projected in 1988, in large part due to the success of the Montreal Protocol, which was an international agreement to eliminate a lot of these chlorine-containing uh, uh, compounds that were depleting the ozone layer. Um, and those also tend to have a large effect on the climate um, and can contribute significantly to warming. So on balance, his scenario B was the one that was closest to the actual uh, radiative forcing um, that we've experienced today. And so if we compare his scenario B to actual temperatures, it's a little above them. Um, he and his model had assumed a climate sensitivity of about 4.2 degrees C per doubling. Um, which is a bit on the high end of what models suggest today. The actual rise is somewhat slower, which is not surprising because that model had um, a sensitivity of four degrees for doubled CO2. We now think that a three degrees for doubled CO2 is, is a more realistic sensitivity for the fast feedbacks that would be operative on, the on those time scales. So uh, it actually is, in that sense, is quite a good agreement with uh, what's observed. And in fact, if you were to scale down his projections to the current best estimate of climate sensitivity, which is closer to 3C, his projections would be pretty close to dead on. The sensitivity was a bit high, and that was actually offset um, by uh, an overly diffusive ocean, that uh, the ocean that he used allowed surface heat to penetrate into the deep ocean um, faster than uh, we think it actually does. And so those two things sort of offset. Um, and in the end, the model got it about right. 